Uh, my next uh, uh, privilege is to introduce uh, Congressman Leonard Lance. He was elected to the U U.S. House of Representatives in November 2008 and re-elected to a second term on November 2nd, 2010 to represent New Jersey's 7th Congressional District. And the 7th Congressional District re represents parts of Hunterton, Middlesex, Somerset, and Union counties in New Jersey. Uh, prior to coming to Congress, uh, Leonard Lance served as a member of the New Jersey State Senate beginning in 2002, where he represented the 23rd Legislative District. He held the position of Minority Leader of the Senate from 2004 to 2008. Uh, along with support of the arts, Congressman Lance has been a member of the New Jersey Council of Art on the Humanities and a trustee of the Newark Museum, McCarter Theater in Princeton, and the Centenary College in Hackens Hackenstown? Hackenstown, there you go. Uh, he is married to Heidi Rohrbach, and they have a son, Peter Frank, a recent, also a recent college graduate of the University of Wisconsin. Uh, the Lansons reside in Clinton Township, Hunterton County in New Jersey, with Fritz, the family's 100-pound yellow Labrador retriever. Uh, please join me in welcoming Congressman Leonard Lance. Uh, thank you very much, Mark, and uh, good morning to you all. We are very pleased that you are with us in uh, the United States uh, Capitol. Uh, I thank uh, Congresswoman uh, Donna Edwards of Maryland for her leadership in, in this endeavor, and none of this would have been possible without her leadership. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is an example, and there are many examples, although sometimes the press does not write of them, many, many examples here of bipartisan cooperation in what we do in Washington. Will you please join me in thanking Congresswoman Edwards. Uh, first, I congratulate all of the students on this remarkable achievement. Because of your artistic talent and your creativity, your artwork will join that of high school students from across the country in Cannon Tunnel. Of the three house office buildings, Cannon, Longworth, and Rayburn, uh, I believe the most distinguished architecturally is Cannon. And it is one of the reasons I choose to uh, have my office in Cannon. These buildings are named for three great speakers of the house in American history. Uh, but of those three, I think the architecture representative in the building named for Speaker Cannon is the most distinguished. Uh, the tunnel is traveled daily by thousands of people. And there is not a time when I don't walk through the tunnel, when I don't look over at least at some of the artwork. Uh, it is uh, the example of the future of this country, because you are the future of this country. And uh, in days of uh, trial, uh, days of contention, it is a soothing aspect of our responsibilities. And for that, I thank each of you personally. Uh, Mark uh, mentioned uh, the famous uh, quote from John Kennedy. That quote, as I recall, was spoken uh, at uh, Amherst in October 1963 uh, on a brilliant autumn day in New England. At either the groundbreaking or the dedication, I can't recall which from my reading of American history, of the uh, Frost Library, the Robert Frost Library that was built at Amherst. Um, my family were friends with James Chapin, the great American portraitist who painted the portrait of Robert Frost that hangs in that library at Amherst. And in uh, President Kennedy's summons uh, to the nation to be concerned with the nature of our civilization, as well as our business and military uh, prowess. I think uh, those words are as true today as when spoken in October 1963. Today, each of you becomes part of an exclusive club. Since the competition's inception in 1982, a long time ago, almost 30 years ago, more than 650 high school students have participated. 
Uh, it is worth noting that renowned artists from around the world have not yet had the opportunity or the honor that you will have in having your work exhibited here. And I predict that among those who are seated in this auditorium today, there will be uh, renowned artists and that you will be known around the world. Uh, I thank uh, my staff and Congresswoman Edwards' staff uh, for um, making this possible. I certainly thank uh, all of those here, Stephen Ayers and the architect of the Capitol and the, uh, those in the House Superintendent's office, certainly Mark Strand and the Congressional Institute and all of those who have made this possible. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we live in challenging times for the United States. Uh, but I believe that we can overcome the challenges of the nation based in part upon uh, the type of cooperation exhibited uh, here this morning. Uh, to your parents and to your teachers, congratulations. But ultimately, this is an individual and singular accomplishment for each young person whose art is displayed for an entire year uh, in uh, the Cannon Tunnel leading to the United States Capitol, uh, probably the most famous building in America. Uh, in several months, we will commemorate, not celebrate, but commemorate the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Uh, those commemorative ceremonies will be here, of course, at the Pentagon. They will be in New York. And many of us uh, lost friends in New York. The state of New Jersey lost 700 residents that day. The third plane that was downed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and you and I together, the American people, are building a permanent memorial in Shanksville. That third plane was headed for the rotunda of the Capitol, the most famous room in the most famous building in America. Uh, why is that? We were attacked at places of our strength, not of weakness. And uh, as your artwork is displayed in the entryway, the tunnel uh, to the United States Capitol. I think you should take great pride in that. And you should recall always, in the words of John Kennedy in October 1963, that we wish an America uh, that uh, is known for its civilization as well. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You always find out what the guests are going to say before you give your own speech. I learned that one. <laughs> uh, we're very grateful for our two members. And uh, again, I'd like to give a good round of applause for both of them because they're the ones who make this work. Thank you.